Now, Lyrica, you charted. You trying your thing in the music scene. I can appreciate that. You got some good songs. You going to chart even more higher. Just keep it up. However, if you plan on hitting number one any damn time soon, you might want to get Princess and Brooke off your damn team. Cause Princess don't know if she coming or going with her cheating or may, may or may not be as cheating husband she got. And now she got a baby by him, leaving subliminal messages all over the goddamn internet like she didn't know what the fuck she was getting into when she married Ray J. And when she saw her eyes on, on Ray J, now he didn't got her pregnant. And now she's sitting up here writing messages on, on the internet, on Twitter and Instagram, thinking somebody give a fuck about her and her marriage to Ray J. Like somebody didn't know what she was getting herself into. Princess, I got this much time for you and this much respect for you. You know what the fuck you was getting into when you did that. Princess... Goodbye. You, as, you know what you was getting yourself into. Ray Jane, what is he known for? Being a player and cheating his ass off. Oh, you thought you was going to change him? Mm-hmm. You're just like those other girls that try to change these men that you can't change. Oh, you thought you was going to go in, marry him, trap him with a baby, change his life around, take the playboy out of him, the party animal out of him and all that, and he was going to be yours forever. Well, I'm sorry. You failed, honey. It don't never work out, no matter how hard you want to try, how many times you wish that he'll stay home with you, take care of your child, take care of you, be there for you. It's never going to happen with the man you marry. So, enjoy, Princess. Now, Brooke, to you. I got this much time for you and this much respect for you. And now you can marry your big dumb ass. Now you done been through a whole clusterfuck. You done decided you don't know who the fuck you want it. You done sat there and went through all that bullshit you went through last season. Now you're fighting and pick your man. Now you talking about it's complicated. And now you're trying to get him to marry you. Brooke. Get the fuck out of my face, because I really don't care for it. You know, after last season, Brooke, you on your own, and frankly, my dear, I can care fucking less. Brooke, you in the trash can category, too, or right along with Princess. I don't care, and I don't care. Enjoy, Brooke, trying to make this man marry you, Chrissy Jr. Enjoy trying to make a man marry you, and doing damn well, that man, I want to marry you. He just having fun with you. So, if that what you like, embarrassing your ass on TV just for a man to marry you and you begging and pleading him to marry you, by all means, go ahead and embarrass yourself. I won't be watching you on your storyline and watch you make a damn fool out of yourself yet again. Well, Ray Jane, they call you the playboy on Twitter. You call yourself the party playboy. How far did how far and how far fetch it is? You got me on Twitter looking like a cheater. If your reputation precedes you, buddy, you like to be called the cheater. So you checking her about her calling you a cheater on Twitter? Really? You know what I'm getting involved. You know, no. Mm -mm. Ray J, you knowing and I know it, you a goddamn cheater. Stop trying to act like you ain't. And Princess, grow the fuck up now that you married with child. Please grow the fuck up. I expect your child to act like this, not your big grown married ass with a baby. Princess, grow all the way the fuck up. Oh my gosh, more Brooke. And Marcus talk about a marriage I don't give two fucks about and about her begging this man to marry her after what she went through last season. Now all of a <coughs> Brooke, get your ass and take Marcus with you off my goddamn TV. Didn't I tell y'all I'm not entertaining y'all two clowns and this damn marriage? I'm not entertaining it. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Lyrica, give it up.
If anybody here any at that time with Safari, if they were close enough to Safari, if he was a female and he willing to get your smile or let you play with him, you will jump on it. Lyrical, where there's smoke, there's fire. Like Brooke said, you weren't trying to stop it. You didn't say, I'm a married woman. Cut this shit off. You my husband, best friend. We ain't having none of that. And there's a second person confirming that you was a little bit too damn friendly with Safari. Why I'm not surprised. Now, Lyrica, I like you. I hope you ain't take it too goddamn far. I saw A1 Steak Sauce calling himself getting mad at Safari like he wanted to fight him. So, it's your funeral, Lyrica. It's your funeral. Enjoy. Like I said... This coming up a lot. Two people already think of, well, three people technically. K. Michelle said it. Brooke said it. Now Mark is also saying that there was something going on between y'all at this Facebook Live thing. Lyrica, three people ain't lying on you. Granted, we don't take um, K. Michelle too serious. Cause she might have just said it just to make you mad or whatever. Or make A1 Steak Sauce mad or whatever. So... Two more people that confirmed the same story. Lyrica. It's your funeral, I guess. Oh, Lyrica. I think you didn't put your foot in your mouth with that one. You and Safari in the group chat. And him and A1 Steak Sauce not in the... Oh, Lyrica. You either flirting or scared to touch that. Lyrica. Sutton in that pot ain't tasting right, and I think you need to put some more seasoning in that pot. Because I think you either flirt with him, lying, or you wanted to, but you were scared. Or he the homie like y'all said it. Lyrica, I advise you to come clean before it get out. Because once it get out there in the airways, there's no putting it back. So I advise you to come clean now while I still, you know, this small before I get this big on your ass. And then you're really going to be right here looking crazy then after that. Oh, Lyrica. So you're in the group chat. Apparently, you have the nerve to go through a whole group message, a whole group damn paragraph sentence and everything under the sun and delete all the... Now, Lyrica, you just told on yourself, dear, dear. How come you in a group chat and how come ain't none of the chat on your phone? But I bet you anybody else pull up their phone in the chat. I guarantee it. Lyrica, you on the safari, didn't you? I wouldn't blame you. He ain't no bad looking guy at all. You want to be more than just a homie, I see. I ain't judging you, Lyrica. I ain't judging you. You need a little bit more men in your life besides A1 Steak Sauce. Because A1 Steak Sauce ain't all that. And yeah, I, I understand you need a little bit more men in your life. Go ahead and get your piece of steak and leave this piece of gristle alone. Go ahead, so, um, Lyrica. The funny thing you just said is, Lyrica, Brooke's supposed to be your friend. Brooke ain't nobody got damn friends. She on this show for a check in the opportunity to make a damn fool out of herself. Season after season after season. And now she making a fool out of you. And you the jackass that thought she was your friend. So who the friend here really? You really thought she was your friend? You'll be better off going playing with a deck of cards to be your friend than Brooke Valentine. Because I wouldn't call Brooke no damn friend of mine. Not as dumb as she is. I'm sorry. And now that I think about it, Lyrica, it's about time you get A1 Steak Sauce bag. Because once upon a time when y'all first started this show, he was eyeballing all types of women. So maybe it is your turn to get his ass back and make an ass out of him. So you know what, Lyrica? Go ahead and flirt with Safari. Better yet, jump on that pole if you want to. That's going to be between you and your 
private parts, cause you better than I ever be, cause I wouldn't. But furthermore, um, Lyrica, he have been acting like he want to cheat on you too, and how he be flirting around with these, these scrippers. Lyrica, go ahead and make a damn fool out of him. He ain't made a fool out of you, so why can't you have a turn too, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> Brooke, you get what you deserve. You made this man compete with a whole different man all last season trying to compete for your stupid love. I mean the whole entire fucking season. You didn't think that was going to come back to bite you in your rear end? You know what? I'm kind of enjoying him having little friends on the side. Because you still, in your silly delusion of mine, you think he going to marry you. Mm -hmm. That show you just how serious he is about marriage when he got a whole different girl at the party. That's not you, Miss Soulmate. And she look better than you. So now don't you feel dumb. Don't you feel stupid. Don't you feel complex. Brooke. I don't feel sorry for you. You took me you took me through hell. Hell. Fire, brimstone, headaches. I had aches. Aches I didn't know where I can have aches at last season over your ass. Payback is a bitch, Brooke. I'm gonna enjoy this part. Oh my gosh. He even spent time with her on Valentine's Day. So, bro, that's, does that mean you got to have a Valentine's Day with um Marcus? Did you have fun? Did you enjoy yourself? Did you pay for the table, did he? Did he buy you some roses and some chocolate? Or was it leftover roses and chocolate from this when he talking to now? Because, Brooke, I still don't feel sorry for you. And you getting what you deserve from all last season, honey. All the last season. All your little love games. All, oh, I don't know if I want this one. Oh, this one saying the right things. I might want this one. Oh, this one saying what I want to hear. Oh, I'm deciding on what I want to do. You waited till the last damn episode to make your damn decision. I hope he do you the same way you did him last season. Payback is a bitch, Brooke. Wait, 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 wait. Now, Miss Singer, you still in range from this mama house now? Talking about some look at the ring. He, oh, Brooke, you just showing all your little red ass. You know what? I'm not going to need much entertain you in this ring. You done stole from this man. Talking about some marriage ring. Brooke. I'm just enjoying the, the um hijinks of your relationship you got going on him. I'm not really entertained, but I'm enjoying seeing this blow back up blow up. I'm just happy to see this blow back up in your face like you did last season. Remember that whole shit you did last season? I'm just enjoying this happening back to you. And you getting a dose of your own medicine. And now you finally get to feel, realize how that man felt that whole entire season. You sought there and dragged this man alone. And then you choose him. And then you chose him at the end. But yet this man had to show you that he loved you. And now you right here still in jury talking about a wedding ring. Brooke, I can't with your tired ass. Ray J, who are you to judge about anybody having sex with anybody or flirting with anybody? Ray J, stop acting like you shocked. Stop acting like, oh my God, I can't, oh my gosh, I can't believe she'll do this. Ray J, you released a whole goddamn sex tape with you and Kim Kardashian. Why are you surprised what happened in... I don't know why you so surprised or shocked or you trying to overact. Something in this milk ain't clean. Ray J, stop acting like you shocked. You shouldn't be shocked at all. Whole sex tape with Kim Kardashian that made you in her. Ray J, shut up and stop acting shocked because you shouldn't be shocked. This whole Paris and came up where Kimberly thing was, it was all out of... I guess anger, and I guess she needed a cliffhanger for her show. Because if you remember how the 
first or the second season in that she ended up talking about the bitch stole my damn credit card and had fraud charter and went and purchased this, went and purchased that. Like, K. Michelle, you could have handled that a better way. Um, Prince says, like she said, you was a sister to her. I'm pretty sure she would have told you, it's okay, go on ahead and do what you know. We cool, we family. It don't matter to me. Like, you could have caught the girl and gave the girl a heads up or something. Don't let the girl think you stealing from her. And I'm glad they apologize and I'm glad they hugging and kissing or about to or. Like I said, that whole situa situation was fucked up and I'm glad y'all made up for that. Now, Ray Jane. You know Princess is not mature enough, and I don't think her brain function that good enough to sit there and apologize to your mama, your sister, and your whole entire family, a public apology. Now, you know Princess is not that brain, and you really thought you was going to get that. Bray J, Ray, Ray J, I'm questioning your sanity now, because you really thought this little young helper was going to give you an apo apology, a public apology in front of that, in front of a whole crowd. Did you really think that was going to, you really thought that was going to happen, huh? What part of the up to day event and what's going on thought you was going to get a public you know what? You thought it, you thought you was gonna get up. Um, you thought you was gonna get a public apology. I'm sorry it didn't happen, but you knew what you was getting. That girl brain ain't functioning at a hundred percent. She had a twenty, maybe a thirty, if you lucky. She ain't functioning at no hundred or at no fifty percent. And you thought you was gonna get an apology. Well, the cake on your face now for thinking you was gonna get one. Now, Prince says. You finally got pregnant. God forbid it took you a whole entire season and the beginning of this whole season before it started for you to finally get pregnant. And now you seen up here having a petty ass argument because of your cheater you married and now you pregnant with. Now you seen up here talking about some day old you an apology because you married a cheater. A cheater. Princess. It's time for you to take some pills or some brain energy or something to get your brain up to 100%. Because ain't no way no goddamn green earth. Oh, ain't nobody going to feel sorry for you when it comes to you marrying Ray J. Like I said, you knew you knew what you was getting into when you married him. You knew what you was getting into when you had this baby. People fight, people argue. Family do the same thing, fight and argue. It's just the getting over and making up part that's the important. You on the you on the other hand, uh, you on the other hand, you immature little Brad. You don't understand them. I don't. I don't expect you to understand them, cause again, you're not functioning at a hundred percent. You still a little kid trying to be a grown ass lady and still trying to fight your way to a, through adulthood. And now you got a baby to worry about sitting up here arguing with Brandy, which Lord have mercy. Brandy ain't got no room to talk about nobody nor judge nobody, but yet she's sitting up here doing both of them. But anyways, though, lead by example, you young. Lead by example, um, princess, and listen to some of this advice that's going around to you. Ooh. So, pr princess. What's her name? Lyrica, you big man, huh? You didn't knock the whole drink on the bar. You didn't try to cuss um, A1 steak sauce so -so. You heard that Brooke said something that didn't help you with the whole safari situation and got A1 steak, A1 steak sauce still wondering was you trying to get a safari, safari pants. Now you go confront her all up in your damn feelings, throwing tight wheel, throwing bu bouquets. Yeah, bouquets and about to throw a table at this girl all because she told the truth. Lyrica, 
just admitted that you further with Safari, would nobody blame you and would nobody fault you for playing with for, to, with playing with Safari? Hell, even if you did want the beefcake as to as um Jocelyn say, just admit it. A1 won't get mad at you. He shouldn't get mad at you. Hell, he flirt all the goddamn time. Had big booty holes and scrippers in his face, shaking their ass. So he ain't got too much. He ain't got too much room to talk about you. But yet you run around here acting like an angry black person, throwing tables and bouquet, bouquets at people. Lyrica, you doing all this? You telling on yourself? A guilty pig will squeal. A angry bull will charge. A angry bull will charge at red. Okay, Lyrica, it's your funeral. Oh, and Safari don't give a good goddamn. He said bitches love him and bitches love him. You might have took the bitch too far Um, A1 steak sauce and you decided to jump on A1. You're not ready for that war. Sit down, homie. And sit Lyrica down with you for somebody to drag Lyrica in you at the same damn time. A1, get you off and sit her down. Lyrica, get your husband and you both of y'all sit down together. Go have some water. Sit down and have a drink or something. Because ain't never one of y'all beat no damn body. I don't know why y'all even trying, but y'all trying. Please have a seat somewhere before y'all get plum embarrassed. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.